Hey guys, welcome back to yet another GCSE revision video. Now, carrying on our GCSE 2024 revision series, we will be looking at how to write the perfect essay for question number four in language paper one. This is where you get the student statement and you're asked to what extent do you agree? And you need to evaluate in addition to mentioning techniques such as language and structure. So Mr. Sales and I will be going over the perfect approach for this question, which holds 20 marks. So it's a very significant question, meaning you need to kind of put some time and effort into this question. So to begin with, when it comes to writing this perfect response is, start your first paragraph with an agree statement. Remember that the student statement is always split into two parts, right? You've got the first half of the statement, then the second half. Always begin by agreeing and saying uh, and tying your agreement to how the writer uses, you know, whatever language techniques such as simile, metaphor, alliteration and so on to reinforce and to support your student statement, okay? Mr. Sallies, what would then be included in the second paragraph to ensure that it's evaluative? So the second part is going to partly agree with the second statement. The examiners deliberately frame the second one so that it's easier to partly disagree with. Now you can fully agree with it, but in order to evaluate it's just easier to partly disagree. You're going to use words like although or however or on the other hand and it's just really easy to bag those evaluative marks. If you haven't yet written about any structural techniques this is the time at which to do it as well. The examiners don't mind whether you have structure or language techniques, but having both just makes it easier for you to hoover up marks because there's more to write about. Yeah, and I'm gonna be a little bit controversial because um, my approach differs just a little bit. Whilst your second paragraph can partly agree, I always recommend to my students that unless the student statement doesn't clearly contradict what's going on in the essay, simply agree and then you can turn this second paragraph to how you partly agree or how you fully agree depending on the statement so if it fully supports what's going on and then add a structural technique okay so that would be kind of my spin on that second paragraph and of course then finish off your perfect question number four response with a final agree on the whole statement okay so this one you just finish off by tying back to the question to the statement as a whole but then in this case you either talk about language structure remember of course you need to keep on consistently mentioning language and structure because this is your AO2 your terminology which is also tested okay so in terms of the actual approach. Uh, Mr. Sallies and I were talking about the actual essays, whilst obviously those of you who follow this channel know that I absolutely love peel paragraphs, so how I would see this is literally as simple as three separate peel paragraphs, which are very detailed, okay? In your explanation, you go into lots of detail, finding some interesting language or structure. You had a slightly different approach. Yeah, so the examiners aren't really fussed about how many paragraphs you use, what they're really looking at is the quality of your explanation and appeal structure will get you that quality but what's going to get you all 20 marks is having enough explanations to get them and that's actually, believe it or not, 20 explanations. Now grade 9 will start at 16 so hardly anyone in the country ever gets to 20, 16 will get you the grade 9 but you have to be thinking how many explanations can I pack into each section in order to hoover up the marks. Yeah, and my approach would be, for instance, in your first paragraph, you add, you know, up to five separate interesting explanations, do so for the second and the third, and you're covered in three chunky paragraphs, whilst of course your approach would be separate and maybe shorter paragraphs, okay? So of course it's up to you guys to go with what resonates with you more. Exactly. But, but generally, when it comes to question number four, see it as split when you're answering this question into these separate sections okay so thanks so much Brilliant. mr sales for joining me and guys make sure you head over to mr sales's channel we're going to be going over creative writing thanks so much for joining in see you on my channel